a year after announcing a partnership with uh, Tata Sons to launch a new airline in India, Air Asia is still struggling. Sources tell Bloomberg TV India that the aviation leg regulator, after putting up a public notice to invite objections and concerns of the deal, has received about 200 objections. We learn that Tony Fernandez will soon be in India to iron out some of the issues with uh, the regulator to, on, on, on its flying permit. Swati is standing by with some more details. Swati, you know, uh, it's been a year. We now have Indigo having a problem with AirAsia's entry. What's going on? Well, clearly, I mean, this has been an unprecedented delay that uh, Tony Fernandez has, of course, uh, uh, seen in terms of launching their India uh, airline with AirAsia India. Now, clearly, there have been some issues that have uh, been raised by various airlines in their, uh, of course, interest, where they say that uh, bringing in a foreign airline uh, in a greenfield way is not something that was the intention of the government when they opened up FDI mm. in aviation. They, it was primarily done for the existing airlines to bail them out from uh, the funding that they would get from the foreign <coughs> airlines. So that's that's what they are really uh, pitching uh, as far as their stand point is. Now, interestingly, for the first time ever, DGCA uh, put up this notice, mm. a public notice inviting comments and suggestions and objections mm. or issues raised by uh, by anybody who thought this deal was not right. Mm. And now a month has gone by. Mm. Uh, we understand from sources that DGCA is now finalizing on whether they will give them the permit or no. So the mm. final word will come in in a day or two. Mm. In fact, sources indicate that uh, Tony Fernandez will, of course, come to India to give it a last shot in terms of, uh, you know, talking to the, uh, to the regulator and ironing out these issues. So, but uh, what what are the objections really, Swati? From the you know from the standpoint of because when when we spoke to uh, uh, Asia's management, they seem to indicate that it's imminent. It's not really you happening. Know, just to it? take you through the timeline of this. So, mm. 19th Feb, as you said, we mm. know that they announced last year mm. that they will be entering India. It was one year ago. This was one year ago. Mm. So, that was when they decided. Then FIPB approval came in just two months. So, April, they knew that they were uh, going ahead with it. They started hiring. Mitu Chandlia was brought on board on 15th of April. Mm. Uh, then, of course, there were more pilots who, who were hired in April. Uh, by September, they were pretty, re pretty much ready in terms of also getting an NOC from the Civil Aviation Ministry. Mm. So, everything was fine. They were just waiting for the flying permit from DGC until DGC, of course, came out with mm. saying that they will now put up a notice and mm. see some objections. So objections are, mm. as I said, number one, ownership issue. Mm. There's not a single largest Indian player uh, who's uh, who, who owns this airline. Right. Second is, of course, the uh, the fact that uh, you know there is uh, uh, there is this greenfield uh, bit wherein they want. Uh, uh, you know, foreign airlines to come in and put in money in existing airlines and not the new airlines. That's right. really their bone of contention.